People have have chosen, in some instances, to uh, to have an informal settlement. No one was like was created to stay in their shacks. No, I'm living in this city. It's got the empty promises. What is the thing? It's the the <laughs> Delil, our mayor, she was told us like everything is gonna be go smooth. They will upgrade by first of July this year. They will be finished upgrading here. What is like uh, putting uh, roads, tar roads, and putting uh, blocking the shacks, like putting the the permanent plots for people. But there's nothing happening. I am not sure that my other little said. July. What I, what I know is on the 1st of July our new financial year starts. So um, if they, there might be a misunderstanding on their part um, in terms of, of, of a date. Even if you're going to the, if we're going to the human settlement de department, they didn't allow us because they always, when you phone them, they said no, this person you want is not here, is, is in four weeks leave. It's like that. And then, and then we went back to the road again. So four meetings in the spate of, from March up until now, would you say that uh, there is no interaction with the community? So where do we also draw the line? human being, I deserve to have a services, I, I deserve to have a dignity, and you must give me the service I suppose we have. After the protest, the police come to the community and shoot the people inside of the community. I was sitting outside from the sun, uh, the, I see the police, they come to shoot uh, the people inside of the community. They shoot me, I was see the blood was jump out from the eye. I was 
running to get inside from the, my house. After that, I called my sister to come to assist me. After that, they tell me, hey, the, you, you lost your eye. They found out there is no, it's not a rubber bullet, it's a bullet. They, the real bullet. They showed me, it's not a rubber bullet. They, they get a bullet inside of the sinus. The time I was coming out from the hospital, I was going to open the case from Samora Machel police station. That police station, they said they're going to take three weeks. After that, they're going to call me. The police station in Fortescue, they didn't call me. After that, I go to IPIT. IPIT, they, they call the, from Samora, the police station from Samora. They ask why they didn't open, they didn't open the church. They say no, they take a joke, it was a joke. Now the PIT, they call Samora Mas, they forced to open the case. Now they say that, that guy, they say they're gonna collect all the guns it was here from that day, they do a protest to check who is the, they shoot me, a real bullet. The IPID said that? Yes, it was the IPID who was saying so. Now they say they don't know, maybe they're going to take a long time, maybe next year, they're going to get the results next year. I don't know why they take a long time. Yes, we feel ignored by the states because they have a lot of promises in this, in this, in this, in our communities. They promise everything and then we vote for them. After that, they keep quiet. They don't know even, they go out, they don't even pass in this way for us. And then they, after that, they don't understand when you are protesting that they were coming and promised us when they want our vote. For instance, if you can check now, there's no, no, not one car of a police, but when we are trying to protest, there's more than 10, 10 cars that are standing over the bridge, more than five cars that are standing under the bridge, on that side, also on the robots, where we are protecting, they are, as we are surrounded by the police. So they want you to protest in your community? In our community. So where can you, no one can see even, also even the other communities, they won't see, they don't hear anything from us. They said, no, if you want to do the protest, go in by, the, by your community and then you can protest, not by the, on the public. No one can look after you if the police can shoot you. So you rather, they want, well, they want us to be voiceless. So they don't want to hear anything from us. They just send the police to shoot us. That is the only solution for them. And then they know that if the police can shoot us, we we'll go inside the houses. And then one of the ladies was grabbed by the house. She was inside the house. They grab her out from the house to outside. And they shoot her. They they shoot her with the bullet with the with the rubber bullet. That was a rubber bullet. Yes, it was a rubber bullet. They in the back. And when she go to the hospital in in Hanover Park. They didn't want to help her because they said, yeah, now you want you want us to help you and then you are doing the protest there by your student farm. Why you don't go to your community and they must help you in the community because you're protesting there, but you want us to help you now. The protest is not the good thing, but because of, they didn't give us the opportunity of sitting down with them. Even when you go to make an appointment, you can't get them. You can't get anyone who's saying, I'm, I'm one who can talk with you. So the protest is, is, is can't end up in this city. I, I really believe we deserve to have everything. We deserve to have a basic services. We deserve to live in, in the house. But now, the way they did, they told us like, we are nothing, we are like animals to them. It's like that. Um, so for me, there's no justice in this country. There's no justice in this city. Uh, say the security companies, they say they need two eyes, not one eye. I can't give me a job. I have one eye. Mm -hmm. Now my life is changing and I am a breadwinner at my home. 
mm -hmm. I take winner. Now I don't know how can I eat and my family how also my family they gonna, who gonna give me a clothes, mm -hmm. who gonna buy me uh, a shoes. No one can buy me a shoe because I don't have a mother, I don't have a father. Mm -hmm. Now my life is changing, really changing now, I don't know who's gonna help me.